Hello guys, Simon here. Today I'm going to show you how to install and use the Substance Designer Lightwing with Cinema 4D. This plugin version works with Designer 2019 and newer, so let's get started. From Gumroad, download the zip of the version 2.0.1 or greater and extract it. Inside, you'll find a folder called Shallest Link. Copy the folder and paste it in the Designer Python's plugins folder, usually located in your documents, algorithmic, Substance Designer, Python, SD User Plugins. Now let's open Substance Designer. And to verify the plugin was start correctly, go to the Tools Plugin Manager, and you should be able to see it listed with the checkbox enabled. If it is not enabled, just enable it and restart Designer. Also, you should be able to see a new window in your Designer interface, called Substance Designer Live Link. If you cannot see it, check it is enabled in the Windows menu. Now, let's install the Cinema 4D client and verify the license of the plugin. Let's go to the config tab of the plugin, and to install the client, select the version of Cinema that you want to use. In my case, I will select 23, and select the path to the Python's plugin of that version. Then click the install button, and to verify it work, we can click the folder button, and we should be able to see a new folder called show the link in the selected path. Let's open Cinema 4D and verify it is working. Let's go to extensions, click on the designer link, and if everything is working, a new window should appear. Now, if we open Cinema 4D, both apps should be connected. We can see it in the connection section of the plugins in Designer and on the plugin window of Cinema 4D. As expected, both app IDs match. Next, before sending anything between the apps, we need to verify the plugin. First, let's open the Python editor located in Windows Python editor. Here we'll be able to see all the messages of the plugin, like errors, warning, etc. Then we go to the config tab, paste the license we got from Gumroad and click verify. If successful, the email associated with license will appear in the email field and a success message will appear in the Python editor. Finally, it's time to see the plugin in action. In the connection section, you'll see the designer instance unique ID, the connected apps, in this case only Cinema 4D, the available renders, for Cinema 4D we have the Cinema PBR, Arnold, Redshift, V-Ray, Octane and Corona, and for this example I'll select Redshift and the available presets. For most renderers, we have a standard that will rely on UVs and some tree planner options. I'll select standard for now. Now let's see how the nodes button work. Let's open an empty graph and click the button. As you can see, this will help you create the available outputs for each render preset. For example, Redshift uses PBR metallic roughness, so when I click the nodes button, all the outputs will be created. If I have nothing selected, the outputs will be created at the origin and if I select a node, they will be created after the selection. If I don't intend to use an optional map like Opacity or Emissive or Anisotropy, I just need to delete the output node. And if you already have the outputs in your substance, you can use those. The only important thing is to consider that the identifiers must match the text defined in the presets generated by the nodes button. Now, with the substance material fully created and the outputs connected, let's send it to Cinema and Redshift. First, we need to define the map name. We can write a custom name or click the outer button to get the name of the current graph. Then we have the path in which all the textures will be exported. By default, all will be exported to an export folder in your documents. Next, we have the format. In my case, I'll use PNG. Then we have a checkbox called Linear Workflow. Enable it if you're using 32-bit files like EXR. Next, we have some emission and hide options, in case you are using those maps. And finally, two buttons, Send and Update. Send will create the shader network from scratch, and Update will only re-export the maps. That way, you will keep the changes in case you modify the network after creating it the first time. Let's click Send. And now in Cinema 4D, we will have a new material. We assign it to the cylinder and everything is working as expected. We exported the material from Designer to Cinema 4D and created the correct shader network for Redshift. Well, that's all for now. See you next time. Good luck.